Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hi, this is uh, Joe and my wife over there is Nicole Brown. Hey, y'all. I uh, just want to come to y'all, just share some things with y'all, what God has been giving me and sharing with me while I've been in the desert, seeking Him and and correcting me and and sharing a whole lot of revelation. But first of all, that let's get let's bow our head down in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you, Lord, just giving you praise and glory, Lord. Just want to first say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your son, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving them, giving me the opportunity, Lord, to be used by you, Lord. Father God, Lord, you say, Lord, that if you be lifted, that you will draw all mans unto you, Lord. Father God, Lord, draw them, Lord, because I give you all praise, Lord, because praise and glory, Lord, belongs to you, Lord. In Jesus' holy name, Lord, I claim, I claim souls to be saved. I claim eyes to be open. I claim ears to be undeaf. Father God, Lord, by your word, Lord, your word is power and power all by itself, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' holy name, amen and amen. Well, praise God, Lord. We just want to first say thank you for this blessing, beautiful day, even though that over here where I live at, it's cloudy, but it's still a beautiful day that God has made. And uh, I thank God. I want to just praise him. Just thank God for letting my wife come our delivery Friday with our new baby boy, Jeremiah Josiah Brown. He sleep at the time, but... Praise God in time in due time he he will be up eyes will be open and he will be up here with me soon and I thank God for my wife for blessing me to to uh, to allow God to bless to bless her with uh, Jeremiah with me and I also thank God for the rest of my my beautiful prophets and prophetess that he blessed me with. Um, I want to share with you uh, some things that God has been enlightening me in my heart and in my spirit. Um, many of us uh, asking him to bless us. And he he's going to bless us. But we need to take first thing first. God is coming more sooner than you expect that he's coming. God is coming for a church without spot and without blemish. Um, just like the one that he put, John. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, if you would turn your book. Open up your Bibles to Jeremiah, the third chapter. From the first verse. And we, and we is going to, I'm going, we're going to take it from the first verse all the way down to the Holy Spirit tell me to stop. My wife will be reading. Third chapter. First verse. If a man divorces his wife and she leaves him and marries another man, should he return to her again? Would not the land be completely defiled? But you have lived as a prostitute with many lovers. Mm -hmm. Would you now return to me, declares the Lord? Uh, Israel was God was God's chosen people. And Israel was doing the same thing with the church is now doing. And God was talking to Jeremiah and Jeremiah would say if a man would put away his wife and and she go forth from him, 
and become another's man, shall she return to him again? Shall not the land be pollute, polluted, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return to me, say the Lord God? We, the church, have played the role of a harlot. Meaning is that our pastors, our apostles, our prophetess, our prophets, our deacons, our minister of music, the whole body of Christ, we have played the role of a harlot. Meaning is that we have allowed the devil to creep into the church. And to and he is prostituting the church from the pulpit on down to the last person in the church, which is the body of Christ. And we supposed to be Jesus say that Jesus said that I am the light of the world. He that followed me. Would never be in darkness. Jesus said that. I am the light of the world. Jesus said that. So. The word of God. Jesus said that. The light. We are the light of the world. No man put the light. Underneath a bushes. To hide it before man. If we are the light of the world and we supposed to set the example to the world, why is the world is setting the example for the church? The word of God say that Paul say that love not the things that is in the world or the things that make up the world. The world have lost respect for the church because that when you go in the clubs, when you go around them, when you be with them, and when they're in the club, they look up and turn around, the church is in the club. We supposed to tell them not to go in the motel and fornicate and commit adultery. But when they look around, you in Motel 6. Our holiday in. So they say, well, how can they tell me anything when they're doing it? Satan have used this tool and he have used it very craftily, craftily towards the body of Christ. That he is prostituting the body of Christ. He, he is prostituting the church. We are the bride. Jesus Christ is the groom. See what I'm getting at with this here now? See what I'm getting with this here now? We are the bride. Jesus Christ is the groom. He is coming back for his bride. But how can he come back for his bride when the bride is out there turning tricks with the world? Sold out to the world. Sold out. And I sold out to Christ. Sold out. Read the second chapter, babe. I mean, second verse, babe. Look up to the barren heights and see. Is there any place where you have not been ravished? By the roadside, you sat waiting for lovers. Okay, right there. Instead of you waiting on God, waiting on, waiting on God to see what God has for you, we wait on the side of the corner waiting for sin, the devil. 
the devil will show you that pretty woman will show you these pretty these these fabulous these fine things, but he would never tell you the how the end of it was going 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 to occur. Go to the third first, baby. Therefore, the showers have been withheld, and no spring rains have fallen. Very long. Yet you have the brazen look of a prostitute. Mm -hmm. You refuse to blush mm -hmm. with shame. Mm -hmm. Go on. Have you not just called to me, my father, my friend, from my youth? Will you always be angry? Mm -hmm. Will your wrath continue forever? This is how you talk, but you do all the evil you can. Mm -hmm. This is how you talk, but you do all the evil you can. During the reign of King Josiah, the Lord said to me, Have you seen what the faith, what faithless Israel has done? She mm -hmm. has gone up on every high hill and under every spreading tree and has committed adultery there. Okay, stop it. He say, on your forehead, you refuse to be ashamed. You do this here. You, you prostitute. You go. You literally sin, and don't have no shame or no convicted. I mean conviction. What you just did. You do it boldly. You go, you be in that pulpit, and you leave that pulpit, and everything that you you boldly go have sex with that other man. You boldly go have sex with that woman wife or or that woman husband. You boldly lie to the poor and take their money. And then when times come and everything that they say, man of God, why did you tell me these things? You boldly let the homosexuality come in the church and not get them saved. You boldly let the actors come in church into God's house. And the power of God is being is not be proven and showing the people that he is alive and well. But the power of God, many of y'all is denying the power of God that that's supposed to be in the church. Is no power go. It's no more conviction in the church. The church is just like another Solomon and Gomorrah. Everybody come to church to receive what the choir is going to sing. What this person wearing. What the, what, no, I, no, no. Uh, I sit on the front row. I'm, I got the biggest church. Mega church. God is not concerned about that. He, this day he concerned about your soul. Being saved. And being warmed back. And to come back to him. So that he can marry you. The God is coming back for a church without spot. And without blemish. When the last time you've been to church. And, your, and, your, and, and the word of conviction hit you that. Come down to the altar and receive the power of the Holy Ghost with signs and wonders. If you are in the church and the, and the conviction of God is not hitting you, you need to put that pastor in, in check and you need to put yourself in check and put that church in check and find your church there where the power of God and where the anointing of God is being broke. The change, the shocker. Is being broke off your life. Where the man of God is standing up preaching sin and sin, which is holy is holy, and which is unholy is unholy. Like I heard a minister say, and I, I love this sister, that we're not gonna be rocking the boot. I mean, uh, uh, rocking the boots on Fridays, Friday and Saturday, and be in church on Sunday. This is an everyday. Constant thing. A constant thing. Many times that reason why that things is going on in the church. 
like the way it's going on because he's showing me this here. He's been dealing with me on this here. Many of our leaders have denied the power of God. They are looking, instead of looking and praying that God would send more labors to them, that God would send more labels out there into the field so that they could be saved to bring in to bring in God's people. They have sold themselves to the world so that they could receive more money, more materialistic things, the fine houses, the fine cars, the things of the world. God is not concerned about that. God is concerned about your soul. Again, God is, Jesus is coming for a church without spot and without blemish. When the last time that you went, you was at church again, and the man of God called y'all down for altar and laid hands on you like Jesus did, did the seventy. Jesus said, after that the Holy Ghost have come upon you, you shall receive power. Power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power to lay hands on the sick. Power to raise the dead. Power to cast out devils. You will, Jesus said, test the, test the spirit by the spirit. Then you will know if it's of God and when it's not of God. But many of us is not in the spirit because that we are lusting behind the things of the world. Ah, uh, I want this big, I want this big old nice house. I want this big old nice car. I, I want to do this here. I'm going to do that there. What did, what did God say about all this here? It's always I. What did he say about all this here? The word of God say that you have not because you, you have not because you ask not. And when you do ask, you ask wrong. First seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And all these things should be added unto you. But we allow the devil to come in and creep into our hearts. Because the body of Christ is us. We are the church. The body of Christ. And we have creeped up. And we allow prostitution. Pro the prost I mean the devil to prostitute us. Because that the devil then took over. Then took over our mind. The devil then blinded our mind to the things of God. We want to be blessed. We want to walk into the things of God. But we don't want to do what it takes. To get. And to let God. To work in us. To walk in, to walk in his will. We have to stop. And look. And say to ourselves. There ain't no conviction being over here. Oh, now I see a big old collection plate going around. People being, people pulling up in Mercedes and stuff. People yelling and screaming when you don't know what they're saying. We never heard Jesus did none of that. Jesus came out and preached the acceptable year of the law. Because he said the spirit of the law was upon me. The Holy Ghost is a is a person. This is the temple of God. This temple was paid for by Jesus Christ when he died upon the cross. This is the temple of God. We have took this temple of God, the temple that the Holy Spirit is supposed to be in. We allow another spirit to be in this temple. And that spirit is not supposed to be in us. The lust of the flesh. It tell you in Galatia. The Holy Spirit is a person. 
The Holy Ghost is a person. He is a person. He is not an it. He is power. He's, he is power within itself. The Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are one. If we, if the man of God, if the, if the man of God, if the, if the bishop, if the, the bishop, the apostle, in a, in the prophetess, and the prophet, the minister of music, he is also a minister. If the body of Christ had the Holy Ghost within us, we wouldn't allow this to be in the church. But when light is sprung, the word of God is sprung, the word of God is light. <clears throat> when it come upon, when, when the word of God is spring into our life and come into that dog's place, we run then. We don't want to receive the truth. Because our deed is being evil. Is evil. Jesus said that before he before he left, he told the twelve, I will pray to the Father and I will leave a comforter. And he will lead you in and guide you into all things. Who is that comforter? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. He is power within himself. And until we realize that what kind of God that we serve, that we wouldn't be going through the things that we are going through. Many of us don't have the learning, the power, the Holy Ghost in us. Because that if we had, like I say, the fruits of the Spirit would be in us. We would be doing the things that we do. We know how to we know how to handle each other more better than we all. We won't be lying. We won't be trying to deceive each other. We won't be trying to do the things of the world. <clears throat> Because each time that we would, the, the spirit of conviction will hit us all the time. We say, oh, now that the Holy Spirit will tell that man, man, brother Joe or brother Bob, you know you're wrong. You shouldn't talk to that brother or that sister that way. No? It will teach us and guide us. It will give us a praying spirit. And it, is, it will give us a praying spirit coming in and going out. The Holy Spirit is designed. The Holy Spirit is designed to lead us and guide us. I want to share that with y'all. It's time for us to get ourselves together to work wise day. Because the time is coming. You better have this word and you better know this word within your heart. It better that spiritual man better be better be alive in you. I'm not come I did not come on here to tickle your wheels. I did not come to preach prosperity to to y'all. God wouldn't have me to do that. That's what's wrong with everybody here right now. They want everybody preaching prosperity, but the soul is going right straight to hell. I'll come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your ears be open. I pray that your eyes be open to the things, to the things of God. To work out your soul, to come back. To put yourself in check, to look in that mirror. It's conviction in my churches. The church I'm in or whatever I'm at is that 
this conviction hit me? Or are you living a lie? Time out for playing church. God's getting a, if you, it's like I shared with y'all up, up in the year. God, God's going to start giving away, God's going to start giving pink slips away. Now God is getting a small group of people that he can rely on. And know that the power of God is going to use them. And they're going to go out there raising the dead, healing the sick, casting out devils. Freely receive, freely give. You will see the power and the night of God on them. Time out for these actors. Time out. Time out. God want <clears throat> God gonna have somebody that gonna preach sin is sin, which is holy is holy, which is unholy is not unholy. He's not gonna be afraid of the people or what they say or, or or what they ain't saying. His only only concern is that what his father in heaven is saying. And I thank God that He's training me that way. He's teaching me that way. That. Is that the word about what he said to get his approval, not what man have to say. I use this here like what my wife say. When I when me and her be talking, and I hear her and I hear God using her ministry, she she put it on me so fast. Look, I'm not worried about what you say. I'm worried about what my father in heaven saying. I won't give a word what you saying. No, I got the answer to him, not you. You my husband, yes indeed. But I got the answer to him. He's the he's the big husband. Can't get mad with him, vice versa. Cause you know why I got so first love. God just gave her to me. No, but she know who her first love, her first husband is. She tell you, Jesus Christ. That's my dad. She put me in check before her dad. So that's the way that we're supposed to put the world in check. When it comes down towards our daddy. But many of us is so free. That we want to blend in. And line up with the world. Like I say. It's like I say. <clears throat> I was listening to TV. And I heard a rapper. And he's a big rapper. Your God. Can give you things that I have. Your God can't do this here. Can't give you the nice calls and give you a nice house. My God could do better than that. <laughs> no, because yours, yours are only temporarily. You got to sell your soul to the things of the world. I only got to just receive God's word and say I give up and live for God. Mine is everlasting. You was only here for a short season. The word of God says there's a way that seems right unto a man. But the end of that, but the end of that road is death. I choose life. Everlasting. And I want to say this here. <clears throat> I really want to say this here. Y'all parents, because I heard this here and I saw it. Church members, first ladies, having these talk shows and asking these kids, who do you want to be like? Don't let them be like nobody out there in the world. I heard a lot of them say, I want to be like this, this, this great singer. I want to, in the day of the world. We as grown up, we as parents are supposed to set an example to our kids. Who do you want to be like, baby? I want to be like Jesus. We supposed to follow Christ. Our whole mentality is so twisted and blinded. Because we don't study 
and seek God's face. We go out there and seek the world. More than we sit down and seek God's face. Again. <coughs> choose ye this day whom ye going to serve. Man or God. I choose God. I want to live. I want to live. We should be able we should ask ourselves and pray to God and say that, what must I do to get closer to you and to hear from you? Peer prayer. Peer prayer. Peer prayer. We'll get the attention of God. Be sincere from your heart. Read it. <coughs> Return, faithless Israel, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will frown on you no longer, mm -hmm. for I am merciful, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt. You have rebelled against the Lord your mm -hmm. God. You have scattered your favors to foreign gods mm -hmm. under every spreading tree. Mm -hmm. And have not obeyed me, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. He says, return, faithless people, mm -hmm. declares the Lord, for I am your husband. Mm -hmm. I will choose you, That's one right. from a town and two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. Then That's I will it. give you sh you shepherds after my own heart, there who we go. will lead you and not with knowledge and understanding. And those days when your numbers have increased greatly in the land, declares the Lord, man will no longer say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. <clears throat> it will never enter their minds or be remembered. It will not be missed, nor will another one be made. Mm -hmm. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. And mm -hmm. all the nations will gather in Jerusalem to mm -hmm. honor the name of the Lord. Yes, no Lord. longer will they follow the stubbornness of their evil hearts. Yes, Lord. In those days, the house of Judah will join the house of Israel. Yes, and together Lord. they will come from the northern land to the land I gave your forefathers. Mm -hmm. As an inheritance. Thank you, Jesus. I myself said, how Thank gladly you. would I treat you like sons Thank you. and give you a desirable land, Thank the you. most beautiful inheritance of any nation. Thank you, Jesus. I thought you would call me father mm -hmm. and not turn away from following me, mm -hmm. but like a woman unfaithful to her husband, mm -hmm. so you have been unfaithful to me, O mm -hmm. house of Israel, mm -hmm. declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. A cry is heard on the barren heights, mm -hmm. the weeping and pleading of the people of Israel, because mm -hmm. they have perverted their ways and have forgotten the Lord, their God. Mm -hmm. Return, faithless people. Mm -hmm. I will cure your backsliding. Thank you. Yes, we will come to you. Thank you. For you are the Lord our God. Surely the adulterous commotion on mm -hmm. the hills and mountains is a deception. Mm -hmm. Surely the Lord our God is the 